So, where there's something I've been like trying to figure out for a while, and I always people do it, and like it's just one of those like materials that no one fully explains. But hey, I'm about to explain it. I'm gonna explain you how to make this some stuff look like really waxy and kind of cool, and give you some cool backdrops. I've done it before, but this video is gonna be really short and sweet, and just just all based around that. And I really hope that you find it useful, and let's just rock out. So pump on him so first things first let's go ahead and delete the light and the camera let's bring in ambient occlusion bloom has some screen space reflections and let's also we're not gonna be doing any animating so we don't need to mess with the uh, rotation to do now we're gonna do a bit of modeling here then we're gonna do materialing and then some lighting and that's pretty much it at that so first things first let's bring in a nice little plane here so I realize at this point uh, this tutorial is meant for the materials and not the modeling so I went ahead and just sped it up uh, but to keep it 100 with you and as quick as simple pretty much feel free to pull in any sort of shape I like to give each shape a bit of like a bevel within the modifiers to make it look a little bit more clean and not just super like jagged. You're gonna to wanna to rotate them a little bit so the light has a nice um, angling on it. But with that, once you make sure you have everything kind of like slightly rotated, you're gonna get the desired effect that we're looking for here today. Go ahead and switch it to shader editor. And we're just gonna enter material preview. So we can kind of see what we're doing here. I'm gonna go ahead and just make everything kind of like one color. So keep it simple. Uh, that one color, let's make it like a, like a pastel, a pastel green. Yeah, why not? So once you have it like a pastel green kind of going on here, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you the, I'm gonna call this uh, wax material 001. You're gonna go ahead and pump up the subsurface. <laughs> and you're gonna go ahead and play with that subsurface color, which we're gonna make it a bit of like a darker green. And the thing about subsurface, um, is once you start putting some light into it, things will start to look quite cool. So let's just give some things a wax material. Let's give everything that like wax color, right? And then we're gonna go ahead and just like uh, make a new one out of that. Make this one like a little bit darker. I'm just gonna, okay. So once we have that kind of set up, we're gonna come out of that uh, material preview by pressing Z, and it's gonna we're gonna toss some lights into it. So do light. Uh, I'm gonna use an area light because I'm a big fan of area lights. Yeah. Like we're gonna use like a three point light here. So what that means is you're gonna duplicate the light by Shift D. Just like um, bring this down a little bit. I'm gonna duplicate it again, and then we're gonna go ahead and press. And what we need to do with this one is we're gonna to just like. This one's is not playing well with us. And one thing we can do with the subsurface, if we want to make it a little more see-through, is that middle, that middle kind of value, and play with it.
click our camera. Turn a little bit of depth of field. Just to make things a little more interesting. Viewport display. Show center. We could do, we could just add like another one. do is just bring it a little bit closer. It's a bit of a funky one, but as you can see, we get in a little bit more of like this wax kind of material. Um, play with some of the color management. And let's just recap this real quick because I know we're getting a little bit out of time here. So the big crucial key that you're going to be playing around with here is subsurface. You're going to crank this up to one. You're going to take the radius and that middle value will really play with it. You can get some really interesting stuff. You can play with metallic if you want, which doesn't look that nice with subsurface. You want to keep the roughness either on a really rough. It'll be fine with the roughness, but the metallic is the one that you don't want to tinker with too much and from there you pretty much have it set up um oops and we have our nice little like uh setup here which is cool um now if anyone wants to stay for extra credit we can make things a little bit a little trippy here which is always my favorite thing to do. So I was playing around a little bit. Let's do some lens distortion. subtle amount let's render an image and you get a nice kind of like uh, noisy uh, wax kind of shaping going on here I don't like to play with it too much but let's see what happens when we add a little mix node and you can even start to play with like different different things I don't know about the difference being being a play a playful one but you get some interesting colors here you can kind of see and yeah knock yourself out my friends all right so let me wrap this up so you're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and click render image it's a little bit easier when it's like this. Click save, and then you have your finished product. So thank you so much for coming on by. I know some of that was like all over the place, but like I always say, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am definitely learning Blender, and I want to just share a lot of the little tips and tricks that I'm picking up along the way. So um, if you have any 
tips and tricks for the recordings, the tutorials, or even ideas and requests, I'm more than happy to dive on into that. So thanks again and give yourself a nice pound on the back for learning something new today.